So this is an interesting story about McDonald's coming from Daily Mail, you guys. Um, apparently, you know how Trump, this is, the, so this will be in the political podcast, the, the Cruising Paris political podcast, but so President Trump, former President Trump yesterday or the day before made a big to do about working in McDonald's and flipping burgers and selling burgers in McDonald's, I guess, as a sort of parody of Vice President Kamala Harris, who um, who alleges that she worked in McDonald's, or I would say she claims that she worked in McDonald's when she was in university to help pay her, her tuition and things like that. Now, the Trump campaign has made a big to-do about this claim, saying that there is no proof that the Vice President ever worked at McDonald's, she is famously from an upper middle class family in California. And apparently, I guess they feel that she wasn't indigent enough to, to work at McDonald's or something. I don't know. So McDonald's has actually come out and said that they can't really confirm or deny that she's ever worked there. But um, yada, yada, yada. And the third. So President Trump yesterday came out in this whole, I mean, stunt or what, what do you, what can you call it? A, a parody. I, I don't know what to call it, but he was working at McDonald's yesterday. He was wearing the apron. He was flipping the burgers. He was handling the fries and so on and so forth. And um, it got a lot of play on publications like the New York Post and stuff like that. Of course, on social media, it seems that he also got a lot of criticism and flack because he did not wear his hairnet, you know, the thing on the head that the other McDonald's employees are required to wear when they flip burgers and, you know, work with food. That all being said, today it's been revealed that McDonald's has been hit with major E. coli outbreak with one dead and dozens sick and that the, the chain has had to pull popular burgers, you guys. Now, what do you think about that and how is that going to impact the Trump campaign? I mean, the last I checked, the Trump campaign and the Harris campaign were basically in a dead heat. Some people are even saying that Trump has pulled ahead of Harris in several swing states, which brings him to about 268, um, 268 um, electoral votes. And of course, he needs, what, 270 to be president. So, I mean, and this is just based on, you know, swing state arithmetic, right? So... It looks like the Trump campaign is definitely very strong, right? It's definitely very strong. It's definitely in the running. Even if B Vice President Harris pulls this off, it's not going to be by a landslide, it doesn't look like. I have always said that I hope the Vice President wins. I hope she wins. I hope I'm wrong about my fears and concerns about her candidacy, right? And that she wins. But I mean, I'm not, I can't, I can't pretend that I'm not concerned. But anyway, I just wonder what you guys think. I mean, the two or three people who actually will listen to this video, because most people don't listen to um, any non Harry and Meghan videos on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I got maybe two or four, two to five, you know, people who will listen. Do you think this will have any impact? on President Trump's campaign, because, I mean, isn't it interesting, the timing of this, how one day after he worked at McDonald's, made a big to-do about it, you have an E. coli outbreak. Was this in any of the states that he flipped those burgers? Um, it says here, the CDC said Tuesday that 49 people in 10 states have been sickened from the same strain of the deadly bacteria 
that kills up to one in five sufferers. It says 10 of the patients have been hospitalized, including a child who suffered life-threatening kidney damage from the infection. The only fatality was an elderly man in Colorado. Where did he flip the burgers? I don't even know. It says here, all affected patients had eaten at McDonald's before getting sick, and most of them specifically mentioned ordering the chain's popular quarter pounder burger. Oh my goodness. Investigators believe the affected ingredient is either slivered onions or the beef patty. McDonald's has removed both items from stores affected states while the investigation continues. Oh, both items from stores affected states. What a weird, weird trio of words. While the investigation continues. Okay, the chain said it's quarter pounders bought by 110,000 Americans in the U.S. every day. Oh, that's a lot of burgers. Maybe temporarily unavailable in some states. How do you guys think, if at all, this will impact Trump's campaign? And uh, what, what will Harris, the Harris campaign do with this news in terms of, I mean, it's like one day after Trump flipped the burgers you have this deadly outbreak of E. coli where they have to pull quarter pounders from, from, from their, their menu. It's, it's insane, right? Anyway, you guys, that's all for this political update. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.